So today is a very, very, very busy day. There's so many things going on between going to Matt's studio, getting my oil changed, drying out hot peppers, to two interviews, to editing vlogs, to editing other videos. Very busy day. But tomorrow, a very important day. And tomorrow is important because it is Jamie's birthday. Jamie turns 28 tomorrow. But that means in all the business of today, I still have to go out and figure some gift option stuff out for her because I have gifts for her, but one of them came in so far. The other is hopefully gonna come in by today or tomorrow. Hopefully, I wanna get some smaller things and I wanna be attentive. Realistically, if I'm being honest, she fell a little bit through the cracks during the concert season. I was just so crazy. And like, we both acknowledged it and we, she had a lot of grace for it because it was just a season. And But like, I don't wanna stay there. No way, man, She's, she she comes first. So I want her to feel special, it's her birthday. We got like no work, like she's gonna feel special. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we do the interviews and then do the things that I wanna run around and, and get Jamie to celebrate for her birthday. And then this way, like, cause I wanna edit videos and stuff, but I figured I could do that later in the evening. The flower shop, for example, is gonna close at six. Like I need to do that before six. Oh, something else I forgot to say is like, I also have a church gala tonight, like a, like a fundraising gala. So, so that's why I, I, I'm thinking, okay, do all the things that I can't change the time for, like interviews, get those, enjoy those, then run the errands that I want to end, get a couple gifts, and then tonight I can stay up late because I'll probably sleep in tomorrow for Jamie's birthday and edit, edit videos and stuff, schedule them for the weekend. All right, just wrapped up a phenomenal interview. All right, just wrapped up a phenomenal interview with you. But why can't I get those words out? All right, just wrapped up a phenomenal interview with Leah Haywood. <laughs> phenomenal songwriter. Like, dude, man, the people she's worked with, crazy. But now I have an hour until my next interview, and what I want to do, first I want to double check that everything's okay with the interview that I just did, because there was a possible connection issue, because I left my Wi-Fi on on my laptop, which means that sometimes I usually have issues with that. Hopefully praying that there's no issues, so I want to check that first. But then, secondly, go after, um, run some errands for Jamie's birthday, and then come back to that new interview. And then get ready for the gala that I have tonight. Oh, thank God, no issue. Thank God, no issue. So there's a couple of local Northport shops that I kind of want to get my, kind of like want to get involved with, and just in the sense of like maybe potential collaborations in the future, or just build relationships and rapport with. One of them being the coffee shop. I've mentioned this before. I really want to kind of de develop a relationship with the coffee shop. Instead of going to like, I was going to go, yeah, like, go to like, Jamie's upstairs, so I don't want her to hear me. So I'm going to whisper. But <laughs> I was going to go get her some like candles and stuff like from Marshalls and Home Goods and stuff. But I'm like, you know what? Why don't I take this as an opportunity to build a relationship with these brands in Northport? <laughs> So I figured, you know what, let me go into North Court and I'll check out those those stores. Um, and while I'm down there, I'll get some coffee and I'll bring these to the coffee shop and see, be like, hey, you know, I make coffee. I'd love for you to try it. <laughs> I have a brand online. If you like it, maybe we could do some sort of collaboration. Boom. That really sucks. So, I just did something kind of crazy. Here we are, trying the $4 dirty water coffee again. <laughs> it must have been $3.50, because it was three fifty dollars today, which is still ridiculous, because <laughs> I'm bummed the other place is closed, because I, the other place, one, is really good, and their large is way larger than this large. Like, give me a real large. I guess must last time it must have been with tip and became the $4. Tastes like dirty water. I figured, because the other place was closed, and I didn't want to make coffee home just for time's sake, and alas, we got a polenta cake though. Moment of truth. Okay, with the polenta cake, it's not bad. It's just not great either. <laughs> All right, now it's time to go get a little fancy. So ready for this move? To so this, how are we looking? How are we looking? What do you think? 